Hello, my name is Matt Wicks, and in today's objective, we'll be learning how to add hyperlinks to create nonlinear slides. In this particular context, we'll be utilizing a racing car template, thus showing us correct responses for feedback. You must be asking yourself, how do we do this and what is nonlinear? These will be answered in the upcoming interactive tool you'll see on the next slide. Once finished, please continue to the tutorial and we'll learn more. Well, let's show you how this works. As you can see on the page here, we have a multiple choice question um, asked with two action buttons as the responses. Now, in order to create these action buttons, we must first go under the Insert tab, which you'll see here under the Home key. In that Insert tab, you'll see there's Shapes. The Shape browser here also has an action button queue. That's what we're going to choose. In this particular context, we want the blank canvas custom button create a small button there it will show you or prompt you for hyperlink we'll add the text here and as you can see we've already done that so from these two we will have a correct and incorrect response hyperlink the first choice to the incorrect slide because it is an incorrect answer. That's going to be our slide seven. Sorry, you lose. And we'll play a sound. Break some glass. And then the correct answer, we'll hyperlink that to Slide six. Congrats, you win, Bide. And in that slide, we'll have a sound of applause. If done correctly, you should be able to play the slideshow. That should take you to the correct slide for your choice response. And there you have it. I wish you luck in making your hyperlinks with action buttons. Well, let's show you how the Now let's assess your knowledge of hyperlinks to nonlinear slides in a pretest. You may participate in these assessments as many times until you feel comfortable with the material. Once you are ready to continue, press the simulation button to put your knowledge to application. <laughs> 